Black opals, renowned for their stunning color variations, stand as some of the rarest and most valuable gemstones. Have you ever wondered the journey required to unearth these treasures? What mysteries lie beneath the dusty terrain, and what obstacles does the adventurous seekers have to conquer on their quest to find these precious gems? Come along as we dig more landscapes to find the rarest opals on Earth. Faced with obstacles in their current position, the Bushmen are keen to explore softer ground in search of better opportunities. In their search for a new claim, they've decided to strike a deal with Lefty Marshall, a local miner. The team is eager to explore the potential site, believing that it has the promise of significant income. The Bushmen are venturing into this new territory in the hopes of finding fertile ground that will offer a profitable return. Their motivation stems from the hope of making big financial gains, believing that the chosen site will be a profitable source for their efforts. Lefty Marshall, a significant actor in local mining, plays a critical role in this effort. The Bushmen understand the significance of reaching a positive agreement with him, as it could define the future success of their mining endeavors in the softer and potentially more valuable ground. The team's exploration is motivated by optimism, which is fueled by the chosen area's potential. The yearning for a new beginning and better results drives their search for softer ground, where they hope to see not simply a change in soil, but also a shift in their fate. The crew told Marshall that they genuinely wanted the area for mining. They promised him more money in the long run provided he agreed to keep a portion of the profits. However, Marshall insisted on receiving payment right away. The Bushmen had to pay $8,000 to establish a claim near the Million Dollar Mile, a plot of property noted for its profitable opal production. The team underlined the possibility of increasing revenues through profit sharing hoping to persuade Marshall to consider long-term gains. Regardless of their guarantees, Marshall preferred instant cash. This option represents his current financial requirements or concerns. The Bushman, on the other hand, had to pay a whopping $8,000 to get a claim near the highly profitable Million Dollar Mile. This area of land has proven to be a source of enormous opal richness, making it a desirable location for mining operations. The team's excitement grew as they joyfully agreed to pay the requisite sum. The soft dirt was a comfort, making their labor simpler after the initial hard digging. They separated and began digging around the walls, eager to discover more. Surprisingly, their efforts resulted in an exciting discovery. The first opal in the land. The delight on their cheeks was palpable, and they couldn't resist getting a closer look at the newly discovered treasure. To their surprise, they discovered a second large opal in the same spot. The team's happiness skyrocketed as they realized how valuable this location could be. As they continued their exploration, the team was shocked by the unexpected turn of events. The soft earth that initially provided respite became the key to their prosperity. The chance of finding additional valuable opals motivated them to continue their quest. Together in their excitement, the crew welcomed the opportunities that lie beneath the surface, transforming a routine task into a fascinating journey full with unexpected rewards. The Bushmen recently purchased a new mine for $8,000, and their initial digs yielded two pieces of black seam opal. These stones have cool colors like green with accents of purple and gold, yet they are still in their natural, unpolished form. The opals appear to be valuable, with an estimated worth of $7,000. Their mining venture is off to a successful start. They made $7,000 in one day on the land they bought for $8,000. It's like getting a quick return on their investment. The opals, while still unpolished, are promising, and the potential profit bodes well for their new company. With their initial success, the Bushmen are optimistic about the future of their mining operations. They are thrilled with the prospect of finding more opals and enhancing the overall worth of their discovery. Their mining venture looks attractive due to the immediate return on investment and the potential for additional gains. The team began digging the mine with a hydraulic digger powered by a power pack, assisted by a handy bogger with a front bucket for scooping dirt. Fortunately, they possessed a remote-controlled bogger, so they didn't need to walk into the mine. Instead, they may use the digger to pull it out while operating securely from a distance. The bogger operated on electric rather than hydraulic principles, 
efficiently loading the bucket. Once filled, they returned it to the hoist pocket, moving around 600 kilograms at a time. This approach drastically reduced the amount of human shoveling necessary. The hydraulic digger, which runs on a power pack, became the foundation of their excavation. Its efficient operation enabled the crew to enter the mine with precision. The bogger, fitted with a front bucket, demonstrated its ability to handle dirt. The true game changer, however, was the remote control capability, which made the entire operation safer and more convenient. The electric over hydraulic mechanism of the bogger ensured a smooth workflow. Loading the bucket efficiently increased the operation's total productivity. The strategic cycle of returning the filled bucket and refilling the hoist pocket demonstrated a well-planned process that moved significant volumes of material in each cycle. This strategy not only simplified the mining operation, but it also significantly reduced the physical strain on the crew. Shoveling, a labor-intensive task, was greatly decreased, allowing the team to concentrate on the more complex components of the mining operation. The symbiotic link between the hydraulic digger and the remote-controlled bogger represented modern mining efficiency, making resource extraction easier and less stressful. The Chiels faced a difficult situation when their large digging machine became stuck beneath a dangerous overhang while attempting to secure historic mining locations for opal extraction. The goal was to hook one chain to the stuck digger and then use another to pull it out. They hoped to drag the imprisoned machine to safety by attaching a chain to its back. The crew was caught in a quandary because the overhang posed a risk and they needed to ensure the mining site's stability. They planned to make the old workings safe before beginning opal mining on the ridge. The idea to apply the chain pulling approach with the second digger came out of necessity. Seeking to navigate the challenge and successfully extract the bogged down machine it's a delicate process that requires accuracy, and the crew is depending on the machinery's strength and coordination to conquer the challenge and resume their opal mining operations safely. Chris needed strong supports for the mine, so he looked for massive tree trunks, such as huge cypress pines, that were up to 30 centimeters thick. These could withstand a whopping 60 tons without bending or breaking. To collect them, Chris had to go to the nearby forest and cut down big four-meter cypress pines. The task was to move these massive logs down the 11-meter mine shaft. After completing the difficult first stage, they carefully positioned and secured the cypress pines to ensure stability and safety. The technique demanded skill and accuracy to ensure that the props could effectively sustain the mining structure. Chris and his team were keen to make the mine safe and durable for the job ahead. Lightning Ridge Opals are like buried gems that have formed over millions of years in claystone. Among them, Nobi Opal is a fun way to say nodule. Consider small opal pebbles formed by Mother Nature herself. The opals come in a variety of colors, but the red on black ones are like winning the opal lottery. Uncommon and valuable. Now let's talk about money. Red on black opals generate the most money, but you don't need a lot of them to win the jackpot. Mother Nature plays her own game, giving us whatever she wants. Consider it like a surprise gift. You never know what you'll get. These opals take millions of years to create, so patience is required. The Blackstone Opal is the rock star of rarity. Consider it the VIP guest in the opal world. The path from claystone to opal is like a masterpiece unfolding over time, and discovering a blackstone is like looking for a needle in a haystack. So, in the opal world, patience is essential. You might hit it gold with red on black, or you might discover the ultra-rare blackstone. In either case, it's all about letting Mother Nature work her magic over time. Opals are like Earth's own jewels, with each one telling a unique story of patience, time, and a dash of luck. In the sandy outback, a small diesel engine powers a conveyor belt that transports rare opal-bearing earth. This dirt finds its way into a recycled cement mixer, which changes into an improvised washing machine that consumes approximately 1,000 liters of water. Within this aqueous swirl, almost six grams of opal-laden treasure slumber. The thrill grows as the process exposes goosebumps embellished with gorgeous black opals, including a unique touch a Chinese writing pattern in vivid red tones. 
Imagine how exciting it would be to stumble upon this one-of-a-kind find. The opal packet is delicately rubbed, revealing the intricate Chinese characters that make it extremely uncommon and difficult to get. The Chinese calligraphy pattern's rarity adds to its worth, with an estimated price of roughly $27 to $500. This isn't just about the money, it's about the excitement on the faces of people who found this treasure. Their joy is evident, demonstrating the excitement of discovering something so unique amid the rough Australian country. In this story of a makeshift mining operation, each step contributes to the eventual discovery of a one-of-a-kind stone. From the rumble of the diesel engine to the splash of water in the repurposed cement mixer, each element contributes to uncovering the beauty beneath the surface. This opal story is more than just a geological wonder. It's a tale of hard work, excitement, and the simple delight of discovery. Sophia and Isaac, dubbed the Opal Whisperers, hit the jackpot two seasons ago when they were part of a team who discovered the largest haul in Outback Opal Hunters history. The euphoria didn't stop there. They earned a stunning $1.2 million. With their newly acquired cash, the siblings made a risky step and invested in their own claim. This season, the pressure is on since the Opal not only supplies them with income, but also allows them to purchase the machinery needed to mine their claim. The money they gained during the first season was properly spent on establishing their operation. The crew is full of optimism, with a goal of $150,000 for this season's haul. Sophia and Isaac's adventure began with a stroke of luck, and they're determined to make the best of it. Armed with experience and a feeling of adventure, they use their part of the profits to stake their own claim. The difficulties of mining in the unpredictable outback did not deter them. Rather, it spurred their ambition. Their initial achievement resulted in more than simply financial gain. It cleared the door for freedom. The duo made strategic investments in the required equipment to ensure they were fully prepared for the next season. As the gang prepares for another round of opal hunting, the stakes are raised and the excitement is obvious. Sophia and Isaac, who have set a goal of $150,000, are chasing aspirations rather than opals. The Outback Opal Hunters community is eagerly awaiting the results, wondering if the opal whisperers will strike gold, or rather opal, once more. The siblings' opal odyssey began in 1961 with their parents, and they now hope to make their parents proud. Sophia Andreu takes over the family's jewelry shop, which her parents established after their father spent 15 years overseas and their mother retired. Sophia expertly manages the store, which houses some of the world's most spectacular diamonds. Opals are her favorite gemstone among the many available. The family's opal-infused story exemplifies a dedication to craftsmanship and a treasured tradition. Sophia, with unflinching passion, continues her parents' opal legacy from decades ago. It's more than just a business. It's a story weaved from familial love and passion for these colorful stones. Sophia's work with opals is more than a job. It's a link to her family's past. Each opal tells a narrative about devotion, hard effort, and the satisfaction of creating something remarkable. Opals glitter, reflecting the strength and brilliance of their familial legacy. As Sophia grows the opal-centric firm, she tells a story of tradition, ambition, and familial pride for future generations. Isaac began cutting when he was eight years old, and he is now an expert at deciphering rock shapes to determine what is inside. Things were rough last year since they only had half of their budget. To make ends meet, they will need to find more opal. The plan is to purchase an excavator and other equipment. This is critical for expanding their opal mining operations. It's a difficult voyage, but Isaac is determined to overcome difficulties and discover secret treasures beneath the Earth's surface. They believe that with perseverance and the correct tools, they will have a fruitful opal hunting season. Sophia and Isaac are experiencing a difficult predicament this year. Their own home, Yawa House, was flooded, so they're helping a family friend with a mine in exchange for a 30% share. While they work hard at the mine, their thoughts are constantly drawn back to their house claim, where the flood had a severe impact. They are currently giving their all to make things work with the mine's 30% share. Finding opal is critical for them because it is more than just the mine. 
It is also about establishing their own claim, Yahweh House. They're determined to find an opal in a family friend's mine as soon as possible, in order to keep their own claim moving forward. The flood has created a feeling of urgency, and Sophia and Isaac are focused on the task at hand every day, knowing that success in the current enterprise is critical to the recovery and future plans for their beloved Yahweh house. Yui and San Ricardo inherited a vast claim from Yui's father, which covered 10,000 square meters and reached nearly 20 meters below the surface. A complicated network of tunnels beneath the ground creates a fascinating underground environment. In this region, the yellow nut stands out due to its robust ironstone shell, which is typically packed with clay. Interestingly, silica-rich water occasionally seeps into fissures in ironstone, hardening and sculpting opals into gorgeous and intricate designs. As they continued their exploration, they discovered a rainbow of hues beneath the surface. The labyrinthine tunnels showed a magnificent subterranean world, with yellow nuts and opals adding a unique touch to the country they had inherited. The duo's voyage through the huge area revealed not just physical dimensions, but also the rich history and geological wonders embedded in the ground. The interaction of ironstone, clay, and silica-rich water created a vivid picture of the region's geological history, revealing the complex beauty that nature had concealed beneath the surface for eons. Yui and San Ricardo are amazed at the unexpected treasures waiting to be uncovered in every corner of the underground maze as they search for the meaning of their inheritance. The hues and patterns engraved into the opals offered a silent story of time and transformation, transforming their inherited claim into a work of natural art. The team, anxious to locate other treasures like Richardo's, went on a thorough search. They diligently looked through every location, expecting to find more brilliant colors. Their efforts were eventually rewarded when they came across another huge treasure in a gorgeous green tint. However, assessing its full value and potential size remained a mystery until it could be subjected to cutting machines with accuracy. The team waited with suspense for the moment when the Yellowstone, a key to exposing the opal's true magnificence, would be analyzed. The team realized that only by going through this process would they be able to reveal the actual face of the opal and understand its entire value. As the Yellowstone prepared to reveal the Opal's hidden secrets, the crew was on the verge of excitement, waiting for another stunning surprise. The machinery was ready to dissect and reveal the Opal's inner brilliance, making the exploration an exciting adventure for the team. Each step got them closer to solving the Opal's riddles, and the green stone they'd discovered hinted at the possibility of yet another incredible find. With bated breath, the team continued on, motivated by the prospect of revealing the opal's bright brilliance through the precision of the awaiting equipment. Isaac's ability to meet a minimum yield of 15,000 is vital to their partnership satisfaction during this critical trial. If he falls short, the entire collaboration may be reconsidered. Isaac has worked hard to create six Yawa nuts in order to prove their worth and get a mining deal with Yui and Richardo. These nuts are bright blue-green with red highlights. Furthermore, Isaac has made an effort to partially process 20 grams of large opal chips. This watershed event emphasizes the significance of Isaac's output in deciding the success of the relationship. The polished Yawa nuts and processed opal chips are physical examples of Isaac's dedication and skill. The outcome of this study will likely influence the future direction of the collaboration with Yui and Richardo. Yui and Richardo assessed the worth of their stones and were disappointed to discover that they only totaled 10,600. However, they realized they had some more stones, and after assessing their value at between $3,000 and $5,000, things began to improve. They also have a nifty tiny chip that could easily cut a $500 stone. Putting everything together, their collection was now worth $15,050. Yui and Richardo were overjoyed with Isaac's cutting ability. Isaac and Sophia were equally eager to demonstrate their abilities in acquiring expensive stones. Excitement permeated the air as they reflected on their accomplishments. Isaac demonstrated his cutting expertise, while Yui and Richardo discovered more expensive stones than they had anticipated. The additional jewels and adaptable cutting chip significantly increased the overall worth of their collection. 
Yui and Ricardo expressed gratitude to Isaac and Sophia for their hard work and dedication. The successful venture not only enhanced the worth of their stones, but also deepened the team's camaraderie. Everyone felt a sense of success, but Yui and Ricardo were particularly thrilled to see their faith in Isaac and Sophia rewarded. The group laughed and shared stories about their voyage, grateful for the collaboration that resulted in the remarkable end value of $15,050. This experience provided not just financial success, but also a strong sense of accomplishment and confidence in their talents. Mark's stepson Xavier and his friend Cooper are feeling the heat as they deal with the pressures of the opal mining operation. Consider this, they've already burnt through $7,500 in diesel, which we all know isn't cheap. The objective is now set at $350,000 for the year. It may appear to be a mountain of cash, but when divided among team members, it isn't as large as it seems. Here's the deal. Three families are embarking on this expedition and the costs are mounting up faster than a kangaroo's hop. What's the biggest concern? If they don't find opal gold soon, the game is finished. Lights out. The team's future hangs in the balance and the pressure is on like a scorching Aussie sun. But let us zoom in. Imagine Xavier and Cooper scratching their heads, wondering how to keep their mining dream alive. They're diving 12 meters deep trying to hit the opal jackpot. But guess what? Every meter they plunge costs them a chunk of their hard-earned money. Now let's talk money. $350,000 is the magic number. Breaking it down is similar to dividing a pizza among hungry friends. Three families, several mouths to feed, and a lot of bills to pay. It's more than just finding opals. It's a survival game. The diesel bill alone is exorbitant, and if they do not strike it rich soon, the entire operation will fail. Can they turn the situation around and keep the opal dream alive? Only time will tell on this outback journey. The loader is critical in carrying earth-containing opals from the open cut to fuel Opalzilla, a specialized machine that detects opals under black light. Opalzilla generates income for the team at the conclusion of each week. The team believes that the excavator is their best chance of earning money this week, so they've chosen to put in extra effort. They realize they need to buckle down and began breaking apart the rocks. This week is critical for the team, and they know it will not be easy. Everyone is preparing for a hard week ahead. The hope is that their efforts will pay off and bring in much-needed funds. The team is determined to complete the task at hand, and they understand the importance of the following days. They understand that success this week will be a watershed moment for them, inspiring them to put their best foot forward and face the difficult difficulties that lay ahead. The crew just spent $10,000 on equipment repairs, but it doesn't appear to have helped much. One critical loader is out of commission, so the team is working with a 20-ton excavator, which is considerably slowing down their progress. To deal with this setback, the team has opted to investigate an old approach from the 1700s, when miners would mourn underground. They believe that the miners may have left something precious behind. This move is hazardous, because it could cost a lot of money. But if they find a large amount of opal, the investment will be justified. The Black Lighters are currently employing an excavator to clear dirt and reach an opal level, but it is making their work extremely sluggish. They think that by going beneath, they may unearth secret opal deposits that will fund the restoration costs. It's like taking a chance. If they find an opal, they win. But if there's nothing worthwhile down there, it could be a bad move. The team is weighing the potential advantages against the risks and only time will tell whether this initiative is a wise decision or the opposite. The team, eager to find opals in the tunnels, digs tirelessly day and night in the hopes of discovering the hidden wealth. Their determination propels them to comb through the soil, looking for any fragments left behind. As they go deeper, they get excited when they detect discolored dirt, which is evidence of topsoil seeping below. With each shovel of soil, their excitement builds. The stained earth hints at a tail beneath the surface, which could take them to the desired opals. The team continues to work around the clock, motivated by the potential of discovery. The tunnel reverberates with the sound of digging as they methodically explore every inch, motivated by the potential of discovering the elusive stump that could contain the key to their treasure hunt. 
In this unrelenting pursuit, the team transforms into a symphony of determination, with each member adding to the overall song of excavation. Their mutual aim unites them, transforming the tunnel into a stage for the drama of discovery. As they continue their painstaking effort, the tainted dirt offers a promising clue, spurring them on in their search for the opals that may be lying beneath the surface. Millions of years ago, silica-rich water poured from an old sea into the ground, filling crevices in the rock and transforming it into opal. They must be cautious when extracting it due to the color variances. Regular light does not help. They require darker conditions and black lights to see the opal adequately. Even in daylight, they can see the opal in the cut, but the team doesn't want to miss any, therefore they've opted to dig at night too. Working in complete darkness, they employ special lamps to illuminate the opal-rich areas. This is vital since opals come in a variety of colors and optimum illumination guarantees that no precious pieces are overlooked. The method entails meticulously digging and inspecting each piece for concealed opals. It's a delicate task that requires both precision and patience. The choice to dig at night displays their commitment to extensive exploration. By extending their working hours, the crew increases their chances of discovering valuable opals. Despite the difficulties of working in the dark, the prospect of discovering brilliant and precious opals motivates them to labor at night. The crew recently decided to thoroughly investigate their finds and discovered that they have 10 ounces of opals, most of which are of exceptional quality. The opals found in the black lighters include a piece of Cooper Petty white seam opal with brilliant flashes of every color. The raw opals weigh 280 grams. Even though the value of what they discovered fell short of their estimates, the crew is pleased with their find. Despite failing to fulfill their financial targets, the crew has found satisfaction in the opals' brilliant colors. They are admiring the beauty of the opals they discovered, particularly the mesmerizing dance of hues in the Cooper Petty White Seam Opal. The team is currently contemplating their next steps including potential possibilities for maximizing the value of their discovery. While the monetary gain is not significant, the joy and contentment gained from their finding adds a good touch to the team's overall experience. The excitement is evident in the dusty outback of Lightning Ridge, New South Wales, as 20-year-old Chris Shield, his son Oscar, and 21-year-old family friend Farron Lamb embark on what promises to be their most dangerous opal digging season to date. Their youthful exuberance is tempered by the need for care as they tackle the perilous task of removing opals from a gigantic pillar that supports the entire mine. The pillar is more than just a potential source of wealth. It is also a precarious structure perched perilously close to the collapsing ruins of old-timers' labor. The trio, fueled by the excitement of discovery, can't help but notice strange signals in the ground. They are eager to locate rare opals, but find themselves caught between the impulse to dig further and the need to proceed carefully. Every shovel unveils the hidden beauty of the opal-bearing pillar, but the danger looms. As they carefully shovel the earth, the weight of the pillar becomes clearer, underlining the delicate balance between their ambition and the fragility of their surroundings. The season unfolds with a mix of excitement and caution, as Chris, Oscar, and Farron negotiate the uncertain terrain, hoping for opal treasures while remaining aware of the inherent risks lurking beneath the surface. It appears like they are counting on one important factor to get them through the upcoming concert. After suffering obstacles last season, they are motivated to make a comeback and are putting out their best effort this time. Hopefully, they will get everything they need this week. The team's tenacity is clear as they strive for a great season. The Chiels are from Lightning Ridge, a location renowned for its unusual red-black opals. These precious stones, which are worth an incredible $49,000 per gram, are really unique. Every opal is a unique creation, with no two stones alike. The Chiels, who are pleased about their new online business venture, are confronting a difficult predicament. Unfortunately, their recent terrible season has left them with an extremely limited supply of black opals. With the strain growing to get their firm up and running, the search for these mesmerizing diamonds is more vital than ever. The Chiels are in a race against time to replenish their opal inventory and meet the needs of their internet consumers. 
The scarcity of these precious stones adds another element of difficulty to their entrepreneurial endeavor. At their desire for success, the Cheels embark on an excursion at Lightning Ridge, a unique location where they expect to discover rare black opals that will alter their online business. The amazing colors and brilliance of these opals serve as a source of inspiration, propelling people to achievement. To make matters worse, Chris's eldest son, Rory, is finishing his engineering degree and will be unable to assist with the mining activities. So Farron comes up to the plate. The team is keen to grow their business with a season target of $200,000. Every day is a new opportunity for the Chiels to go further into the unusual scenery, hoping to find those rare opals. It's not just about the money. It's about making their goals come true and creating a sparkling success story. While navigating the ups and downs, the strain is tremendous, but so is their determination. Farron, who plays an important role in Rory's absence, illustrates the teamwork that drives them ahead. It's more than just a financial aim. It's a common desire to make their business shine brightly. In this chase, they face uncertainties and challenges, but with each dig, they grow closer to their goal. The Chiel's journey exemplifies tenacity, hard effort, and the pursuit of glittering achievement that goes beyond monetary goals. The Opal's brilliant colors mirror their energy and bring a touch of brilliance to their journey. The mining team faces a dangerous predicament with the mega pillar near the ancient workings. If they don't handle the roving element properly, it could lead to a collapse. The Chiels, which sustain millions of sandstone sands while they dig the pillar, are under enormous pressure. To fill the back of their 20-ton trunk, the Chiels must lift more than 30 buckets of dirt from the opal-bearing pillar. This procedure necessitates precision to avoid undermining the structure. The crew has committed a substantial amount of money in this business, and they are under pressure from several sources. With last year's experience leading off scraps, the team is resolved not to repeat the difficulty this year. They desperately need a large win to maintain their standing in the mining industry. The financial stakes are huge, and the crew is well aware of the obstacles ahead. The danger of a collapse looms large, highlighting the importance of a well-thought-out strategy. Each bucket of dirt raised increases the pressure on the chiels, making the entire operation a delicate balancing act. The team is dealing with not just the physical problems of mining, but also financial demands and expectations from several sources. The mining team is in a difficult position, balancing the physical risks of mining against the financial obligations of the company. A successful outcome is critical to their future success in the sector, and the emphasis is on them to score a significant triumph this year. The Chiels, located just one kilometer from their mining site, use an odd combination of edginess and an agitator. They've modified a cement mixer to spray millions of liters of water onto the sandstone and clay that surround the opal-rich rocks. These Chiels folks are looking for something unique, opals, and not just any opals, but opals with a rich black base. When these gemstones are polished, they show a stunning display of electrifying blues and greens. And here's the kicker. You might glimpse a gleam of rare red in the mix. All of this splendor adds up to a whopping 16 grams of opal bliss. Now let's talk about money. This magnificent piece of opal artistry is worth a whooping $60,000. Imagine holding it in your hands. It's more than simply a rock. It's a gem. Consider this. The Chiels go through a painstaking process to obtain these valuable jewels. Their customized cement mixer, flinging water left and right, is reminiscent of an artist at work, revealing nature's hidden artwork beneath layers of earth. So there you have it. A kilometer-long journey, a spray of water, and a treasure worth thousands. The Chiels are more than just miners. They are discoverers of hidden treasures, transforming the ordinary into the remarkable one opal at a time. As we conclude this journey through the world of opal mining, it is evident that finding these priceless jewels is no easy task. The Chiels and their team exhibit the grit needed to navigate the harsh terrain and unexpected weather. Stay tuned for more information on the opal hunters, and until then, keep exploring. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe for more exciting adventures. Happy opal hunting!